morning and welcome to today's upload. My name's Emma Sick Ram for hauls and vlogs and chats. How the devil are you? Let me know in the comments. The birds are t -t 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 tweeting. Oh, it sounds just delicious outside. Still freezing, but they're tweeting. So today we are starting the process. Um, and I'll be showing you. Hear that noise? That is my girl's pet rat having a little drink. A little drink of water. We start in the process of it's not it's gonna be a very mini makeover for my daughter's bedroom. She is 12, so she's gonna be a teenager this year, and she just wants a little bit of a refresh. So oi, oi, ratty bombati. So she just wants um she's got pictures up that she wants kind of changing a little bit. We're going from a single bed to a double bed. I did not have a double bed when I was a teenager. How delicious. I do imagine that she will sleep curled up like a little mouse in one corner. So we're gonna do that. Um, I am hoping that the single bed will be good enough to take down and put in my office upstairs so we can have a proper bed if somebody wants to stay over, say if my mum wants to stay over, or my sister wants to stay over, or a friend wants to stay over. So that is the plan. So I'm just gonna start with my boys' bedroom, we gently did it over a, a period of time and that was just so much easier than trying to get it done in one day. So I'm going to start today, while she's at school, just doing a couple of gentle adjustments um, and get the process started and then perhaps look at beds. I think we're going to get a bed that you lift up and store stuff underneath. My mum had those in her new house because she had a new house and they are great. So I think that might be what we're going for. This is the bed that she's got at the moment. This is the wall which she absolutely loves. She wants to keep it, but she wants to change out the pictures. So I think we will keep the frames, but change the things in the frames. Because some of them have got pictures from when she was like a very little girl in. This is the bed that I'm hoping that's going to go upstairs. Um, she has got stuff here, but the plan is going to be these three drawers. She's, she's a tween. She has things hanging off everything. <laughs> But these three drawers here don't actually have stuff in that she uses. They're like um, our DVD collection and stuff like that. So I was thinking one probably should go for the DVD collection and actually see if that's... Do you know what? I haven't opened this for so long. Let's move the stuff. Oh. Oh, gosh. it's so, Oh, my God. So it's got DVDs and things like that in. That can go under the bed because she doesn't we don't need to get to that though why are we keeping it why are we keeping it because you just get these things on the telly but i'm keeping them um so these three drawers can then become her drawers and then the stuff under the bed can become storage stuff and i'm sure either you've got or a tween you know oh my these are so comfy you must never tell her but i'm gonna wear these for the process of this video these are insanely comfy slippers. So that's the thing. All I'm going to do today, she's got a lot of photos in her wardrobe. I'm going to take those off and I want her to go through them and see what she wants to keep up, what I can put in a photo album. So we can kind of get that down a little bit and maybe get her a big pin board. And also today, because Stephen's working from home on his lunch break, I'm going to get him to take all that down. And then I'm going to, like my boy's wardrobe, I'm going to get all the squishmallows and put all those up there. And, oh, she has a lot of clothes in her wardrobe. I'm not going to do a wardrobe tidy, but I'm going to go through and just make sure everything is the right age. If it's not the right age, it's going to go to the charity shop. So that is the plan. And then when we eventually do the whole room, we can do a wardrobe thing. But I think we should probably do that together. But if there's anything in here that's like age 10 to 11... It needs to go, really. It's it's just simply not going to fit her. So that is the plan today. First plan will be to take off, take off the photos, and I'll probably give the mirrors a clean. You knew it was going to happen. You knew it was going to happen. You were saying, I know it's going to happen, Emma. You're going to end up sorting out our whole wardrobe, and you were right. <laughs> You're right. You're right. I've got everything out. Never trust a tween who says, yeah, all the stuff fits because this stuff, some of this stuff, no. <laughs> it the trousers would be by her knees. So I'm making a pile that I'm going to fold up nicely for donation. These have got to go back up 
um, we made a squish. Steve and I was like, could I just borrow for five minutes? We made a squishmallow pile. <laughs> And this is the old fancy dress box. So after I've done all this, we'll go through here because I bet there's some absolute corkers of stuff in there. So we'll go through that. Um, so I'm just carrying on. Gonna go through the summer stuff. This shoe will definitely not fit because she's now a six and that is a size four. Um, obviously there's another one to it, but uh, that'll be a really nice find for somebody in a, in a charity shop. That, that'll be a great little find. Also, parents of tweens, do they just, you go, here's your clean washing, and they just ram it in, because that's what's happening here. I've gone through it all. We'll do a proper tidy all together, I think. Um, so I've gone through all that, and I've got a pile over here for the charity shop. Found one of my hangers. Lovely. Right, this. I need to get the vacuum out, because this is so dusty. This is fancy dress stuff that she has not, that has been not touched for, oh. Oh, they're quite good. Little fancy dress socks. They're quite good ones. There has been not not been touched for a long time. What size it? What size are these shoes? Well, those actually might fit her. I might get. Mm. I'll leave them out, but I'm unsure if she'll wear gold ballet pumps. Um, that's not her aesthetic. Would you like one Gary Lineker ear? And Stephen went dresses at Gary Lineker. Would you like a uh, poppy <laughs> wig? Would you like a poppy wig? Oh, would you like a very squashed Mickey Mouse hat? There is some. This I'm definitely going to keep because, um, as you know, Stephen is Irish, all of Stephen's family. Oh, no, I can't. It's broke. Oh, that's a bit sad. Hmm. Do I want that for the memory box or is that crazy? The kids used to wear this every year, but it's completely snapped. Uh, what else is there? A little cardigan. Oh, a very fancy bag. <laughs> so we're gonna go through this. This is a cardigan that can be donated actually. This was age eight to 10 and that's an actual proper cardi. So well, that can be donated. I think, I don't think there is one single thing in here that we need to be keeping. And then you know it's going to be a fancy dress day at Ethan's school and they're going to be like, we, oh, do you know what? Maybe he could do the BFG for World Book Day. Do the B, I feel like the BFG has biggest, I'm keeping the ears, guys. Oh, no, they snapped as well. Oh, my gosh. Right, I'm going to go through this. You don't need to go through the trauma of a a box of rubbish. Thoughts? Keep? I should... I, how much would you dare me to go to... Um, oh, <laughs> oh, it made my face was... Go and pick up um, the kids from school in that. Could you imagine? Hi, kids! They'd be like, she really is a witch. I am so pleased. So I took the big basket off the top of her wardrobe with the fancy dress in, sorted all through that. And this is perfect. This is where a bit that we had like a big Buzz Lightyear um, storage box here that was like a cardboard one I'd been sent with some PR stuff in. But this is perfect. So we get so many of these baskets sent, it's crazy. So if I get another one, then he, this corner will just build baskets full of toys. Uh, ready until he decides he wants something else here. Like, as you know, we mentioned, I don't know what trainers or what are they, want? record players? I don't know. But this little spot is perfect. I'm very, 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 very chuffed with that. Squishmallows are done. I'm going to clean the mirror now. That'll be the last thing. Wardrobe's tidied. Stuff is ready to be donated over there. I've got all her photos to choose from what she wants. Oh my gosh, that was just a photo of me, I went flying. What she wants to keep, if she wants to swap any out, change any, so I'm going to put those on the bed for her um, when she gets in from school. And then these, as I said, pictures, she wants to change some of the stuff in them. I imagine that one will change, perhaps with her friends on. I, 
I think Stitch might go. And I think she wants these two to change. So we'll be looking for some new prints for that. So that is all I'm going to be doing today. As I said, we're trying to just do things slowly and gently rather than rushing everything in one day. We're just, we don't know, we're not moving house, are we? So we just do a little bit by little bit. I will look at beds um, and probably order one of those. I don't know how long it takes beds to bed to come. So that will be the next job. The carpet's fine. Stephen actually um, painted a bedroom last year. We forgot. He came and said, do I need to paint it? No, he painted it last year. When we, we took all the book, the bookshelves, and that'll be a video, we'll do the bookshelves as well. Um, we've, she's got multiple bookshelves, but she definitely needs to go through the books, donate any that she's not, um, that she's read. She's read all of these, but any that she doesn't want to keep. Those blue clouds, I don't think she'll want those. So, just a little by little, just to make it a little bit more grown up. Right, I'm going to clean the mirrors. Ugh. It's arrived. What's arrived, you saying? What's arrived? What's arrived? My final next sale haul. <laughs> next sale. Oh my gosh. It's, it's, I thought I had got all the stuff, um, which is Bath and Body Works. I thought I got it all. I thought it was all got and then I got a text and it was like you still and I was like what so as I've explained numerous times this was stuff I bought in the next Christmas sale and I presume they must just have so much stock that they have to get out that it just takes them a month to get stuff out so this is going this is going to be fun because this is me and you experiencing this mystery together Whoa, mysterious package, I want to get close to you, so close to you my baby, let's get this open, delivered by next, put my hands in, what's the first thing I pull out, Christmas socks, I have ordered our Christmas socks, it does annoy me, it comes in so much packaging, and it also annoyed me that it came with so many different parcels, but hey, what can you do? This is recyclable by the looks of it, so I can put it downstairs. I have ordered Chris. We have our first problem, guys. I ordered this 9 to 12. This is not a 9 to 12 men's. This is clearly a 9 to 12 child socks. So, they're not for Stephen. <laughs> I thought I'd done really well. I thought I'd got us all our Christmas socks. Please, I think I have ordered loads of kids' Christmas socks. That's what I think I've done. I've not, I've not ordered adults Christmas socks. I've not done it. I've not ordered adults Christmas socks. I have not ordered, I have ordered many socks that won't fit us. So that is fun, fun for me. Um, I am going to see if I can send these back. If not, I will be, um, Merry Christmas to people I know. You will be getting socks. Also, these were in the sale, but also these were originally £10.50. That is absolutely bananas for some socks. They're lovely socks, but sadly, none of them fit. Well, we're off to a good start, guys. We are off to a cracking start. The next thing. This is a good one. I got this for Mr. Patrick, Stephen Patrick Conway. You're like, who's Patrick, Mr. Stephen Patrick Conway? And in large, I thought this was very fun for Christmas and I thought he would like that. He likes a nice sweatshirt Christmas jumper to Steve and he has a few. So I thought that was like kind of cool. Do ho 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 get it. Do that's what I should have said about those flipping socks. Um I got some shorts next sale in the wrong season is always get good to get stuff for the next season 
so it's good to get stuff for um summer and that lot so i got my girl some shorts some tie-dye shorts but they're really cute for when we go um on holiday in the summer nice like to get like start stocking up now i'm gonna actually put those upstairs and make a little pile <laughs> there's some more socks there's some more socks we're gonna ignore them we're gonna ignore them you gonna see it? How, i wonder how much the socks were i don't think there's a form in here let's see if i can send them back silly billy i got her a bikini so that's really good very excited about that um because she needed a new bikini um so that's very nice little that's really pretty actually i really i'm very pleased with that it's actually more like a tankini isn't it but i think that is absolutely that's good oh it's making me think of the sun i want the sun the sun to come out uh some christmas cards I, this is the second pack, so I've got all my Christmas cards for this year, 2023 Christmas, because I like to always, as you know, get them the year before. The other ones were like little, were the other ones like little country houses? Well, these are what I would, I would say funky. These are funky ones. Oh, they're little. Um, 20 charity cards, and they're like little... Oh, there's two little ones, shorter ones, and then there's one big one, and they're quite, they're nice. Um, so they're really nice little cards. So that's nice. All my Christmas cards got. I should put them away in my Christmas cupboard. I also bought some Christmas wrapping paper, and that came. And finally, I think it's finally. I'm so annoyed about socks. Is a Christmas bath mat because I didn't own a Christmas bath mat and I thought well now is the time well as in like Christmas so I open that, he, that was cute for the um and actually hopefully oh my gosh hopefully next Christmas we will have a new bathroom keep your eyes peeled no that would be keep yeah, keep your eyes peeled, posted. We're going to have a new bathroom. So that'll go in that. So there we go. Oh, it's a bit... I, I felt so smug with the socks. I was so happy. I was like, we're all sorted for Christmas socks. I don't need to get any. But I, I, I have actually got four, four pairs of the wrong socks, size socks. I thought six to eight and a half was for me, Ethan and Erin. And I thought nine to 12 will be for Stephen. All wrong. So there we go. That is finally the end of my next sale. I'm going to go and um, sort out where I can. Yeah. I can recycle all these little bags. Go and put those in recycling. Right. What a disaster. Hello, pretty ones. The sun is shining. It's still freezing. Of course, it's still freezing. What are we talking about? It's going to be. When is, when is the warm weather coming? I need some sun. I need some heat on this face. I need to not always have drying in the background. Um, I thought I'm going to put a, just a few, just a couple, just a touch, just a dab of some Valentine's decorations. Just a little bit, not too, I'm not going to go too crazy, so don't get, don't get your hopes up. But I am going to put some bits and bobs up. Um, this is, I've got like a box here, which was from my loft. So I have this box which has um, some new bits that I bought in and also some old valentine's bits hello hello valentine gnome we love you what else has it got in here it has old little candles some valentine stuff it has um little xoxo i don't know if it's your hot chocolate station as well today maybe change that for another day not sure what's that oh this is not valentine's we're getting ready for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I think this is possibly the only St. Patrick's decoration that I have. Um, he's <laughs> he's in there. Uh, I've got some tea towels, got a cute mug. So I'm just going to put up a few bits in the back. Who's your Valentine, Margot? Is it me? 
Am I your Valentine? Do you love me? You do love me. She's just had a walk. The only way I can get any work done, let me know if you're a working from home person. Oh, yes, we are talking about you. Is to walk the dog before I do any work. Uh, this is the little bit I'm going to decorate. Um, so I'm just going to put a few hearts up. Just a few little cute bits and bobs. I think I'm going to go with maybe more of a pink vibe than a red vibe. Yes, I said vibe because I am hip and trendy and that's what the kids say these days. So I'm just going to put a few little bits and bobs up. I'm wondering whether to take this tablecloth off and just have... The trouble with this table is, it's from Amazon, it's really reasonably priced, or I think it might be at the other end, it scratches so easily, so I might have to keep that on. This is um, old Sainsbury's and it is wipeable, wipeable. Right, let's make this look a little, a little teeny tiny bit festive. Okay, we've just done some little delicate touches. When it's actual Valentine's Day, when the kids go to bed, I put up a few more exciting, snazzy bits. But this is just like some nice springy bits. So we have got an old tablecloth, um, which I found upstairs in the loft. We have a, a very old cactus in a pink pot, which I... Let's have a look. No idea. It's just been... These cactuses just live for years. That cactus, possibly 85 years old. Who knows? Um, a old Raydon sweetheart candle and the scent is, I think it's actually sweets. What scent is it? Um, why can't I say? It feel, oh, it smells like sweeties. And then a very old Marks and Spencer's vase that Stephen went to which is my favorite spring vase with some fake home bargains flowers and then I just put up a, a little paper wreath. I am on the lookout for maybe a material one if you ever see it let me know. Then I've just put a very old Poundland candle up there, another Raydon Love candle up there. As I said these are old. I presume I got them in England. I don't recall bringing them back from America so maybe TK Maxx might have them in again. Put my little Gnome there and it's just just a little pop of pop of pink, a pop of pink. What are you thinking? You just sunbathing, aren't you? We all want the sun. We all want the sun, Margot. We're all with you. We all want it. And I did it whilst listening to a Happy Valley podcast. Any of you watching Happy Valley, it is the final uh, tomorrow. You'll be watching this on Saturday. So Sunday will be the final. No spoilers in the comments, guys, because we don't want to spoil it for people. But um, Happy Valley podcast, uh, it's a BBC one. It is brilliant, really interesting, interviewing some of the cast. If you haven't watched it, there's three seasons. This is the final season. The first season took place like seven years ago. The second season was, I think, a year later. And then there's been a big old gap. And now it's back for the final ever season. It's not, if, if you think, oh, Happy Valley, that sounds sweet. No, it's not. Imagine the saddest, scariest most doom-filled valley you would be living in. That's Happy Valley. It's Happy Valley. It's very uh, depressing, but oh, it's absolutely gripping. Sarah Lancashire, give her a flipping, make her, the, make her the Prime Minister, because she's just so brilliant. So definitely recommend that. Also, um, I started Happy, not Happy Valley, blah, 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 White Lotus. We started White Lotus yesterday. So I'll let you know how I get on with that. Do you want me to do a favourite? Maybe I could do like a February favourites video. That could be something I could do. What I've been listening to, what we've been watching, because January we've been just staying in and doing absolutely nothing like the rest of the country. But now it's February when we're watching this. The birds are going to start tweeting, the sun's going to start coming, and it's just going to be phenomenal. Right, my loves, I will see you in another few days for another upload. I love you lots.